Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ and this is Thursday Vids. Lights, that's the stamina action. I'm a rock star, check the crowd reaction. Those lyrics are from an R. Kelly song called Rockstar, featuring Ludacris and Kid Rock. And bands, those lyrics are true. Lights are a big part of the crowd reaction. In fact, I'd say it's doubtful you'll ever get to be a rock star without lighting. But seriously, I'd love to talk to the bands out there for a minute. I know we're called Chauvet DJ, but the truth is we're talking to entertainers of any type who use lighting. And of course, this includes bands. So if you're in a band or you book bands or whatever, let's talk about your lighting. First of all, let's talk about where the concept of lighting at all falls on your band's priority list. Much like in the DJ world, it's completely understandable that the first things on your shopping list are things that make sound and music. I mean, four or five people standing on an awesomely lit stage without any instruments at all is like the worst band ever. I get it. If you're a guitar player and you got a hundred bucks in your pocket and no gear whatsoever, you'll probably go buy a guitar. But if you're in a band, like you really call yourself a band, chances are you already have machines that make sound. Not so much with lighting. So why are so many of you still playing in the dark? Yes, so many bands are still playing gigs in little to no lighting at all. I'm a singer in a band myself. I've always been in a band. I love to go see live music all the time and it never ceases to amaze me how low on the priority totem pole lighting is for some of these otherwise excellent entertainers. And that's really the point, isn't it? It's entertainment that we're doing. It's critical to be aware of the visual elements of entertainment as well. I mean, if we're in a band and we're out there in the world performing for audiences, those audiences deserve to see us as well as hear us. Otherwise, just stay in your studio and record tunes and release them on SoundCloud or whatever and don't bother going out live. In fact, if your goal as a band is to entice people to dance, you should know that there are actual physical properties that are stimulated by lighting. Melatonin, for instance, is a hormone that is released and stimulated by lighting. So darkness stimulates melatonin and light inhibits it. So that's why when things get dark, we tend to get sleepy. The body releases melatonin telling us it's time to go to sleep. So bright, exciting, energizing lighting can also incite physical activity in us as well. This is why lighting is also critical to the entertainment experience. But there's also a subliminal psychological effect that happens with lighting when you're on stage with a band. You've always dreamt of being a rock star. Well, guess what? A simple color wash on a stage can make it seem like you're closer to being one. I've always said you could take a mediocre band, put them on a dark stage, and the audience will say, yeah, they were mediocre. You take that same band and you put them on an awesomely lit stage, all of a sudden that band becomes really cool. Maybe what audiences were reacting to in a case like that is the overall entertainment experience that lighting provides, as well as whatever cover tunes that band may be playing. But I'm not a doctor, I only play one on Thursday vids. Now I know a lot of places that we play gigs in say they provide lighting. And if it's decent lighting, then we're lucky to play in those venues. But more often than not, house lighting means something like a single incandescent par cans from the 80s. Much like I'm always wary when I hear the term house sound, you should be wary of house lighting as well. And I know that when you're on stage, you're more concerned with operating your instruments than you are programming and controlling lighting. But by now, I hope you realize that there's lots of fast, easy to operate and effective lighting options for you on stage, including things like our four bar series or our gig bar series. You've spent a lot of time trying to perfect the sound of your band. Yes. Don't let these excuses get in the way of improving the way you look as well. As Ludacris said in that R. Kelly song, you can be a rock star and check the crowd reaction. And with simple, easy to use killer lighting on stage, I think you're gonna like that reaction a lot. But that's just my opinion. As always, we wanna hear what you have to say, so leave us your comments. I'm Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ. As always, thanks for watching.